Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 956 that says tallest billboard. So guys, although this question is easy to understand as well as code, but the complexity arises when you have to solve this question in a memory bound. So yeah guys, uh, in today's video we will learn how we can solve this question uh, by using some smart moves, right? So yeah guys, stick till the end and watch the complete video. Now here, what you have to do is, you have to um, make two support of equal height and on which on the support you have to place the billboard so you need to find what is the maximum height of support you can achieve and yeah both the support one that is the left support as well as the right support must be of equal length okay so here two steel supports that you need and they must they must be of equal height and they are uh, built of rods so uh, the rod, there are rods of different lengths like length 1, length 2, length 3 and length 6 and so on. So you need to use these rods in order to make left support as well as right support. Okay and yeah, this, uh, you, we need to try to achieve the largest or the maximum height possible to install the billboard. So as the question says tallest billboard, so we need to achieve the maximum height. And yeah, if you cannot support the billboard, that means it is not possible to make a left support and right support equal then in that case return zero so let's try to go through a few examples here now here in the first example you are given this uh, four rods first rod is of a length one second of length two third of length three and fourth of length six so guys if you want to achieve tallest billboard with this rod then what you can do is you can create the left support combining rod uh, of a length one two and three so this would be of a total length six and the right support would be of length 6 by taking this rod. So now both the left support as well as right support are of equal length as well as they are the maximum possible height that can, you can achieve using these rods. So yeah, the maximum height you can achieve is 6 and that is the height that or the answer that we need to return. Now if you take a look at the second example. So here we have used 3 rods to make the left support and one and 2 rods to make the right support and here we haven't used the rod with the length one in any of them. So yeah guys, you can see here that the rod can be either a part of a left support or a particular rod can either be a part of right support. And it can be possible that rod is not a part of any of them, them right? So yeah, by, do, uh, by solving this question this way, this is the left support, this is the right support, uh, you can get a maximum height of 10. Okay, correct. So yeah guys, as I told you, the rod can be a part of left support or can be a part of right support or none none of them and the question asks us to find the maximum height or most optimal answer so guys whenever you have something like this that there are some choices for each given index so here a rod of index for each rod of index there are some choices these are nothing but uh, your choices so based on these choices you can easily write the recursive solution okay and yeah you need to get the most optimal optimal answer that is you need to return the maximum height so yeah you will take uh, the maximum of all the choices correct simple it is so yeah it is easy to write the recursive solution and if you want to uh, see how the recursion tree can be built for this question then we can do it in this way so here you are given this example of six rod indexing from zero to five so for the first index you have three choices that it would be a part of support one it would be a part of support two or none so if this would be a part let's say index zero that is rod of length one is a part of support one then you have uh, height 1 on the uh, this is the left uh, support height and 0 that is the right support height so currently this is your situation if it would be a part of support 2 then this would be a situation where the left support is of height 0 and the right support is of height 1 okay so you have three you have, you created three states now then uh, take for index 1 so for index 1 either you can take it in the left support so then the height of the left support would be 1 plus current that is 2 so overall it would be 3 else you can take this index 1 as a right support then our the height of the support would be 1 comma 2 that is uh, on the left and on right and it would be a part of none then the uh, height would be 1 comma 0 so similarly you can take uh, i equal to 3 4 5 from each states so yeah now you can try to build up this recursion tree on yourself and yeah you can get more idea of how this recursion works now moving on to the coding part for this recursion so here we have built one solve function and call the solve function from here. The solve function takes parameter of rods, index, sum1 and sum2. So sum1 is nothing but height of a support1 and this is I have taken as a height of the support2. Now our base condition is when there are no rods remaining 
the in that case we check if someone equals to sum 2 that means height of raw uh, support 2 and equals to height of support 2 then simply return the height height of any one of the support and in the else condition return 0 because yeah it is it was not possible to make both the height equal then in that case we simply return 0 and yeah, these are the three options that we discussed that either a rod can be a part of support 1 or it can be a part of support 2 or it won't be a part of any then in that case we have an added in any and simply we take the max okay now as you all know that this is a recursive solution and it is the not optimal solution uh, and uh, yeah, if you see here that there are three changing variables, some uh, index, some one and some two. So total states would be three to the power n. Yeah, and this will result in time limit exceeded as well as memory limit exceeded. So yeah, we have to think of some better solution in order to uh, optimize our approach. And it, there is no doubt that we can memoize it. So whenever we have recursive solution, we can easily memoize the recursive solution. So our memoization does what it simply stores the changing variables or the answer at different states so the states at, uh, so this is a state so this is one state this is one state and answer of this state is determined by the index as well as uh, some one and some two right this this will create some one and this will create some two so each state is determined by the changing variables that is index some one and some two now if you take a look that there can be 20 different possible possible value of index 5000 different possible value of sum 1 and 5000 different possible value of sum 2 this is already mentioned in the constraint so if you look at the constraint the index uh, maximum limit is up to 20 and sum of all the rod length would be uh, up to 5000 so this is the maximum limit uh, for our three changing variables so total states would be 20 multiplied by 5000 multiplied by 5000 so that is 5, 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 and this is very large number so this will surely give you memory limit exceeded right if you have to store this many different of states then it will give mle so now but if you take a step back and think what was our goal or what was our base condition instead of a base condition we were simply checking what is the height of left sub left support and what is the height of right support that means uh, if you look at the recursion code that we already discussed that we were checking someone equals to sum 2 or not right so this is nothing but if sum 1 minus sum 2 equals to 0 that is the difference is 0 then we can say their height is same okay got it this is the thing right if the difference is 0 then the height is same right so yeah instead of using three changing variables we will reduce to two changing variables there is no way possible to not to take index as a changing variables but we can reduce from this two to any one and that one would be nothing but the difference of these two and whenever the difference is 0 that means that height is same so we will take the difference now if you look that what will be the range of your difference see the sum one ranges from 0 to 5000 sum two ranges from 0 to 5000 so the difference would range from minus 5000 to plus 5000 right if let's say sum one is 0 and sum two is 5000 so it lower limit would be minus 5000 this and at max it would be 5000 right 5000 when when one of one of his uh, let's say sum two is 0 and sum one is 5000 then in that case maximum limit would be 5000 so if you uh, See that there are total of 2 times 5000 that means uh, 10,000 different values possible for this diff. This is the count of values for this diff or uh, total 10,000 values are possible here. Now if you try to find out that how many different states are possible then uh, you can see that here there are two changing variables that is the index and the diff. This index can have 20 different values and this diff can have 2 multiplied by 5000 different values. So total 2 into 10 to the power 5 would be the number of states and this is the accepted solution here. Okay. Now if you take a look at the coding part it is very much simple here we initialize this dp 21 uh, of size for this index and this is the size of this right uh, diff and we uh, initialize the dp with minus one and call the solve function inside the solve function we have index and diff as a input parameters we would check uh, see this is the base condition where no rods are remaining in that case we would check that if difference is zero then return zero else then uh, else a minimum value now guys you might be thinking here that why inside our dp array we are adding difference plus 5001 this is because difference can have value up till minus 5000 so uh, but we cannot have negative indexes so in the inside this dp array we cannot have negative index in order to convert the negative index to positive we are simply adding 5001 here okay and we are uh, this is the base condition that if uh, already the value is calculated that means this value is not minus one then you simply return the answer as there are three choices so now if we are taking that rod in the left support 
then what we would do is we would simply add difference plus a rod length if we are taking in the right support we will add difference minus rod length right and at the end here what we are checking if we are checking the only the difference okay now guys you might be thinking that why we are adding here rod of index that is the length of this rod here inside the option one or the first choice this is because we need to return what is the length of the support so at the end whatever may be the difference if the difference is zero or not if the difference is zero that means both the rod are of same length and in that case we need to return what is the length of the support right when both the supports are of same length then the difference is zero but in the answer we don't want that we want what is their length so in order to keep track what is the length of the support we would keep track of length of one of the support only and we would keep track of difference so this difference will tell whether both the support are of same length and yeah, if it is the same length then what is their length so yeah we only keep track of one of the length of one or length of one of the support and simply add the rod that we included in the left support each time inside our choice right and in the uh, uh, and yeah when the difference is zero nothing would be added but if the difference is not zero we are adding some big negative number see at maximum the height of the support can be 5000 so we can take any larger value than this 5000 and return it so yeah if the difference is not zero then we are returning some negative larger negative value but if difference is zero we would have some positive value and that positive value would be nothing but a height of both the support right so yeah this is how we uh, are getting the answer by returning this see we are only returning this when we are uh, taking the rod in the left support in the other case that when we are taking the rod for the right support we only subtract that uh, that length from the difference and we don't do we don't return here right we don't add in the return statement because we simply need a height okay uh, and yeah the third option is pretty much the same that is not to take that draw in any one of the support so yeah guys that's how we solve this question um, so i hope you guys have understood that what we are trying to do here not talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity here is very much obvious that it would be nothing but 21 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5001 uh, because these are the different possible states that we are calculating okay and the calculation of one state will take big of one only because here uh, here there is uh, there is no for loop or nothing else so this all statements will run big of one time so yeah overall this is the time complexity and space complexity is also the same but there would be some recursive check you will be used uh, because this is a recursive function call uh, so yeah guys that's all for this video if you have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you